Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the data that you have already entered into QuickBooks along with the cash flow projector to create an estimate of the cash flow in your company for the next six weeks. After you set up the information needed to create the cash forecast, you can then view the cash available in a report. You can even go in and view how making changes to estimated receipts and disbursements could affect your future cash balance. To start the cash flow projector, select Company from the menu bar, roll down to Planning and Budgeting, and then choose the Cash Flow Projector command. This will launch the cash flow projector. Read about what this tool will provide to you on the initial screen, and then click the Next button to continue. In the second screen, check any accounts that you want to use as the beginning cash balance for your company. You can then enter any manual adjustments to that balance in the Adjust Balance box at the bottom of this window. Note that this adjustment will be used each time you create the cash flow forecast, although it can be changed later if desired. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, you can then use the drop-down under the Itemized Cash Receipts section to select which projection method you want to use for cash receipts. If you wish to learn more about the projection methods, you can click the helpful hyperlinks in the upper right corner of the window. If you selected the manual projection method, then enter a date, description, and amount for your cash receipts in the section provided below the drop-down. Repeat this to enter all desired cash receipts for each week, and then enter any adjustments in the weekly summary section that is shown at the bottom of this screen. If you selected an automatic projection method, then edit the itemized cash receipts as necessary and enter any adjustments into the weekly summary. If you have entered all of your cash transactions in QuickBooks, an adjustment may not be necessary. When you're ready, simply click the Next button to continue. Now in the next screen, you can enter any expenses that are not accounts payable. You can either enter detailed expenses or a summary of multiple expenses on one line. Enter these into the Business Expenses section. You can also make adjustments at this time as well. Note that each screen has a Preview Projection button at the bottom that you can click in order to see how your changes will impact the forecast. When you're ready, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen, you can review the bills in your Accounts Payable account. Here you can adjust the payment dates if needed. You can also adjust the weekly Accounts Payable summaries at the bottom of the window if needed. At that point, you can simply click the Finish Projection button to create the cash flow projection. Now this document can be printed by clicking the Print button that appears at the bottom of the window. You can also click the Save as PDF button to save it as a PDF document file. When you're finished, simply click the Close button to close the projection. Then you can close the Cash Flow Projector by clicking the Close button as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.